Hey everybody, so this is such an exciting video. This is the very first video for my new channel, The Crafty Llama, and it's gonna be a haul. So I just got back from Michael's and I bought a few things and I'm very excited. So I'm just gonna take everything out and we'll go through one by one. Okay, so the first thing I got was this pack of Artist Loft um, paintbrushes from their Necessities line, I guess. White, synthetic, flat, and round brushes, 12 pieces. Um, I think originally this is $11, like $10.99 or something. They were having a sale. Um, all Artist Loft items, pretty much. All their, like, paints and brushes and everything are all 30% off. So I got this for... Seven forty, something like that. The seven thirty. I don't know. Um, I'm actually don't. You know what? I'm gonna open it. Why not? I want to see how the bristles feel. I'll take the bigger one to feel it a little bit better. Okay, and they feel really soft. The um, these are from their, like I said, their necessity lines, so, so they're not some of the ones that, um, like, tell you what kind of paint you're supposed to use it with. They have some that are supposed to be a little bit higher quality that come in, like, the plastic zip pouches, and it'll, like, it says on the package whether it's supposed to be for, like, watercolor or acrylics or whatever. Um, I tend not to be a huge fan of cheap watercolor brushes. Um, I much prefer cheap acrylic brushes and even though I paint with watercolors more than acrylics, um, I like using the ones that are meant to be acrylic brushes for my watercolors. Like I use them for both um, because I really don't at this point, like eventually I would like to be able to, but at this point I don't have the money or the desire to purchase expensive brushes. So it's cheap Michaels brand brushes for me and these actually feel really nice and soft. So I'll be using these. I'm just go over here, I guess. Okay. The next thing I got are some watercolors and these are uh, Prang and I believe these are $13 for the 16, 16 color one. They had one that was an eight colored one, but I don't know. That just, it's just not enough colors for me. Um, so. I mean, these, I'm pretty sure these are going to be pretty, like, cheap. I have never used this brand before, uh, so I don't know how, um, how decent the paints are going to be, but I just wanted a cheap, like, pan, um, watercolor because I had a set before, but it's gone missing. A bunch of my, um, like, like, art supplies have gone missing lately and I don't know how or when exactly it happened. I just was like going through my stuff and a bunch of it is just gone. I can't find it anywhere. And so I had to replace my watercolors and I purchased um, tubed watercolors last time I purchased some but I also wanted some already in pans. So and I just wanted like a real cheap option. I don't have the money to spend on expensive ones. So I kind of thought I'd just try this out. Anywho, um, it comes with a brush that feels pretty nice. And see, these like um, the white synthetic brushes. This is supposed to be a watercolor brush. Obviously it came with a watercolor palette. But it feels exactly the same as the bristles on these brushes. So I think I'll be just fine using those ones for watercolor. I'm just gonna actually I hate putting these things back on here because you always bend the bristles and it bothers me when there's one bent down you can never bend it back anyway so I got that I 
I also got um, this Speedball calligraphy pen and ink set. This was pretty inexpensive. It was like seven bucks for the set. I've never owned a calligraphy pen before. So I'm actually going to open this because, because I want to. Jeez, it is like, I don't know. So I didn't get the one that had different um, sized nibs um, for the purpose of what I'm going to be using this for. I thought that just the fine one would just work fine for me. Eventually I want to get some more, but I think this will work just fine for me. I just want to use it to do some like um, line work on my watercolors. And it came with this pot of calligraphy ink. And just in black, super black. So I got those, and that's uh, that's from Speedball. I also got some uh, black India ink by Higgins, and uh, I've heard really good things about India ink about how black it is and how waterproof it is, and. Um, I'm not sure, like I wasn't sure about the ink that this came with. It says water resistant on this one. So, I don't know. And this one says waterproof. So, I I got this one even though it came with this one, just in case. Um, this bottle is so cool looking. I love it. I feel like this was a little expensive for how much it looks like it comes with, but whatever. I also got some uh, Copic multi-liners. I have the... Oh, I don't know if I have any. Right here. I have the um, Stedler pigment liners, but um, I've been watching um, a bunch of like videos on watercolor and stuff, and... I've seen a couple people say that the Copic ones are like really waterproof and won't go anywhere and I really want to be able to do like outlining and stuff on my watercolors before I lay down any um, actual water and I have heard that these ones will not budge. So I got these and these are pricey pricey. Not like absurdly pricey because you can use a coupon which is what I did. Um, they are $20 for four of them, which in my opinion is pricey. Like that's crazy. That's $5 of marker, pen, whatever. But I did use a coupon, so I got it for 10 bucks or like 12, I guess. So it comes with a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.05, and 0 0.03. So a lot of options. That one's like real tiny. And then so I'm really looking forward to using these water and Copic proof. That's pretty cool. Well since they're by Copic I would expect them to be Copic proof. But um so you can use these with watercolors and alcohol markers apparently. I don't know about all alcohol markers but apparently the Copic ones work with those. Which I'm assuming you probably use the Prismacolor ones because they're very similar. And then I got um, some pen cleaner, some Speedball pen cleaner. Um, I really didn't want to get this without getting something to clean it with because I know that you can't let the ink sit on there um, because it'll ruin it. So... <sighs> I, I have find it hard to spend money on things that I know I need but aren't fun. So this was hard spending like six bucks on this thing. It was hard. Especially because it just looked like a jar of water. Uh, the last, is this the last thing? Yes, the last thing I got was this Daler and Rowney um, acrylic ink. And I got this to use with 
the calligraphy pen um, and I got it in orange f or flame orange I guess and I really wanted like a just bright crazy color and um, it was between this and like a real hot pink one and I let my son choose and he chose the orange <laughs> so orange it is um, but that is the end of my Michael's haul and I'm like really 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 excited about all of this not too too much but it costs a pretty penny so it's plenty in my opinion um I'm actually really excited to try these watercolors out and see how they perform since they are like a cheap kids brand basically so I mean I think there's meant to be like kids paints but I feel like $13 for a set of kids paints is still a little pricey like I wouldn't spend that much for my child to have watercolors just to like completely destroy I don't know I'd buy like the five dollar Crayola ones or something anyway uh enough rambling thank you so so much for uh watching this video uh I I feel like I was very very rambly in this video now I'm being even more rambly but I'm excited to uh, have this video going up on my new channel. Um, I do have another channel if you haven't come from there and you don't know what I'm talking about. There's lots of fun links to click down below. So if you like clicking things, go to the description box because there's plenty to click. Anyway, uh, thank you again for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate, appreciate it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.